Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new video in the series, Creating a Complete Car Racing Game. Starting from this video and for the next three, we'll be focusing entirely on car effects, making our vehicle feel as close as possible to professional racing games. From speed effects and sound to drifting engine audio and much more. So make sure to follow every part of this mini-series to avoid missing any important detail. In this video specifically, we'll be creating a full car sound system that reacts to all driving states, stopping, accelerating, and even turning. I'll also share some very important tips worth paying attention to. So, as usual, it'll be a simple and creative video. Let's begin. First, we'll work on the engine sound. I've already prepared a set of sound files for this purpose, and as always, I'll leave them for you in the description. Next, we'll create a meta sound for the engine and a sound attenuation asset to use later. The setup should look like this. We won't need the unfinished output, so throw it away as far as you can. Now, we'll use two wave players and enable looping for both. In the first one, we'll place the start engine sound, but we don't want the sound to play every time. It should only play once when the car starts at the beginning of the game. So, Set the loop, start to three. Of course, this value depends on the sound you're using. For the second sound, we'll use the engine acceleration sound. Make sure this sound doesn't have any clicks or cuts when it loops. Otherwise, it will sound choppy and unpleasant. If you face that, just tweak the start loop setting. For me, the sound is perfect. Next, we'll handle the transition between the start sound and the engine acceleration sound when the car speeds up. We'll use crossfade and connect the out mono of both sounds to it. This node smoothly blends between the two sounds depending on the crossfade value. To control that value, we'll create a new variable. Similar to when we use blueprint variables, drag from here and choose promote to graph input or click on the side, both ways work. Rename it properly, naming is important, and make sure to set its control type to knob. Now, if we play the sound and adjust this value in real time, you'll hear the transition. You can clearly notice how the sound shifts smoothly. Before finishing this part, I want to make the engine sound react to speed, meaning it gets louder and higher pitched as the car speeds up and softer when it slows down. We'll use the same graph input and add a map range node to define the pitch range based on speed. You can set the range as you prefer. The final touch. We don't want the transition from idle to start to take too long. It wouldn't make sense for the engine to already be at half RPM while still blending with the idle sound. To fix this, we'll use another map range here. Lowering the input value speeds up the transition from idle to movement.
that's all for this part. Now, let's move on to the vehicle blueprint. Here we'll add a new audio component, assign it the engine sound and the sound attenuation we created earlier. Next, we'll create a custom event called Add Sound, where we'll manage all the sound logic in our game. From the Engine Audio component, we'll use Set Float Parameter. Make sure the name matches the graph input name exactly. Then, from the Vehicle component, get Engine Rotation Speed, and use Map Range Clamped. The first value will be the idle RPM, and the next one, the max RPM. You can find them here. The output range should be from 0 to 1. For testing, connect everything to event tick. I'll stop talking for a moment so you can listen carefully. Yes, the sound fits perfectly, and even the transition feels smooth and realistic. Next, let's work on the turning sound for the car. For that, we'll create a new meta sound. Use a wave player with our turning sound and enable loop. Connect both on finished and out mono as usual. Then, add a graph input again and link it with a map range. Basically, we want the sound intensity to increase the more the car turns, and decrease when steering returns to center. That's all there is to it. Back to the vehicle blueprint, we'll add another audio component and assign the new sound as we did before. From the sliding audio, we'll use set float parameter, making sure the name matches the graph input name. Now, here's something different. We don't only want to control the pitch, but also the volume. To do that, we'll use set volume multiplier twice. Why twice? Because Unreal Engine has a strange issue with updating sound properly, and this is the workaround I found that fixes it. Now we need to tell Unreal when to play the turning sound. We'll use get steer angle, which we can get from one of the front wheels. One is enough since the steering angle is the same. Use two map range nodes. The first one for pitch intensity between 10 and 60, and the second one for volume between 20 and 50. 
and values 0.01 to 10. Don't start from zero, or you'll run into a weird audio bug. Trust me on this one. All right, let's test it now. Hmm, looks like the sound isn't playing. Give me a moment. Yes, I found the issue. I forgot to add abs absolute here, that's all. Now let's try one last time. Yes, the sound works perfectly without any issues. You can also later adjust the steering angle you want before the sound starts playing. But before we finish, there's a small problem we need to fix now. We don't want the car to play the sliding sound when it's not moving, unlike right now. So, in the blueprint, I'll first create a new function whose purpose is to return the speed in kilometers per hour since I'll be using that from now on. It's the same process we did in the previous video here. In the end, I'll make it pure. After that, we'll make a simple check. If the speed is greater than 10, we'll play the sliding sound. And if it's lower, we'll turn the sound off again. We'll use F inter 2 for that, with a target value of 0, 0 0.01 instead of 0. Also, we only want it to play when the sound value is above 0 0.01. Yes, I'm really satisfied with this result. So that was how to set up the car sounds in Unreal Engine. Don't forget to follow the whole series. It's full of new and very useful ideas for you. So make sure to subscribe while you're watching.